This is an excerpt from the CBC Sports Daily e-post bulletin buzzer. Stay here to accelerate what is happening in sports by subscribing here. Winnipeg Blue Bomber and Toronto Argonauts will be square for the CFL Championship at 1800 on Sunday. Meet in Regina. Here are some things you need to know about the 109th Grey Cup game. Winnipeg is for the moon. After defeating Hamilton in Grey Cups in a row, Blue Bomber Edmonton has been trying to be the first CFL team to win three championships since 1978-82. Warren Moon, both pro football honor list and the only player who entered the Canadian football honor list. All these headlines had one hand and Edmonton was the starting quarter for the last three. 83 seasons. Winnipeg took the 2022 Grey Cup chase wire to the wires and opened the normal season with nine plain winnings before finishing CFL's best 15-3 record. Last week, the ERS BC 28-20 Lions in the western part of the western part of the western section for force their violent defenses. Winnipeg also has a great crime led by senior players Zach Koloros. 2021 Grey Cup MVP. CFL high 37 goals in the normal season after scored the passage of the second flat CFL Best Player Award last night, according to Koloros and the company Toronto. It is preferred with six points implying that betting rates have the chance to capture Winnipeg's Grey Cup three-peats. However, the Ing Plains may have a Achille heel. Koloros. Last Sunday BC, at the end of his victory, he missed Winnipeg's first two applications after rolling his right ankle. Although the injury still needed a score to remove the Lions, the Urs were violent enough to keep Koloros on the bench for the last ownership of his team. Koloros insisted that he would play all weeks on Sunday and said he was ready to go to journalists on Thursday and that his mobility was good. But if the ankle bothers him or forces it again, he can shake the game towards Toronto. The young spare Drew Brown which took the first team representatives of the ERS in the beginning of this week, has a total of 64 transition attempts during two CFL season. Two-thirds of them came in her October 25th match against Lions, which Brown scored for 325 yard and three touches, but selected twice. For a slang, revenge is the best meal served. Tundra-like conditions in Regina will probably not disturb Argonauts. Who pulled Andrew Harris from frosty Winnipeg? Harris was a significant component in the Grey Cup victories of the country team. Scored 169 total yards and two goals in 2019. And the same Grey was both the most valuable player and the first player to win the most valuable. Canadian Cups the cup and then hurry for an 80-yard game last year. Harris also directed CFL in the gardens that hurried with Winnipeg with Winnipeg. However, when Harris was 35 years old in the spring and needed a new contract, they decided to let him walk, even though the Urs were willing to stay. Harris, who felt unwanted, signed with Toronto and had the type of season you would wait before you get older. Although he enjoyed a few good games that rushed to Winnipeg with a one-point loss in the fourth week. 188 yards in Saskatchewan in seventh week. In a career low way in a career. In mid-August. In mid-August the rest of the season is torn pectoral muscle that leaves it. He returned last week and scored 42 yards and goals in Toronto's East Final, adding a reception of 30 yards to his 34-27 win against Montreal. Argos's hopes to be upset on Sunday can withstand top-hawking defenses.
Toronto directed CFL with 48 packages this season, which includes six interventions in the league on the defense back, which forced a fumble in the Eastern Final.